Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 31 of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the old subscribe button, get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So last episode, we um, we, we were working on quite a few things, actually. Um, and, uh, and, and since then, we've been busy in a couple of live streams. So I want to show you the stuff that we did uh, in the live streams. Number one, uh, one of the things that we did was we, we have started to expand the greenhouse, right? So we worked over here quite a bit. Uh, we had a diamond bee here and a redstone bee here. Uh, but then I decided I wanted to make this like a central atrium kind of a thing. And, uh, and then, you know, kind of make it look more like a, more like a cross. If we fly up. Uh, if we go up here and then look down, you can see how it kind of does the whole cross thing. And then the beehives will be, or the bee apiaries will be off to the sides there a little bit. So that should be, that should be cool. So, um, and then the glass color that we're using for the, for each bee inside of the, uh, inside of the building here is going to be based on the color of the product that the bee is producing. Like this is a redstone bee. So red glass, this one over here, that's a, uh, that's a diamond bee. So blue glass so over here, that's going to be a, uh, the wither bee. So inside of the building will be black glass. Um, and actually it's actually dark glass. Cause I don't rem I don't know if, if wither bees have to have a dark environment, right? I don't think, I don't think they produce during the daytime, but I don't know that they need it to be dark. If you guys know for sure, let me know if this, if this can just be black glass, I'll just swap that out for black glass and it'll look, and it'll look just as good. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we've done this over here. We also brought ourselves a uh, crafting grid over here so that we can uh, have access to materials without having to go either all the way back over to the wizard tower or uh, down into the basement of the uh, of the of the house, right? Um, all things considered, I think this is turning out pretty good. We got lots of uh, lots of little details that we still have to put in. Like we got to finish putting in, got to finish putting in the roof, and then uh, like all these little dark oak accents that go on top uh, to give it the little character. And then I don't know if I like what I had going on over here with the with the trap doors. I might change that and make it do uh, make it do something different. I haven't quite decided yet, but. Um, all in all, I think it's making, I think we're making progress. I don't think, ooh, I might be able to just barely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means it'll go to here. Ooh, yeah, that would be in the way. So eh, I built it just a little bit too close to the house, but that's fine. What I want to do today in the last live stream that we did, uh, we got into a couple of things from Batania. Number one, we did that because we needed a, uh, we needed a, we needed a magnet. We, we really needed a magnet. So we got the ring of magnetism from, uh, from Batania. Uh, and, uh, I'd like to get some basic like mana production set up. Right. So, so that's what we're going to work on today. And I want to incorporate that into, uh, once again, incorporate it into my refined storage system. So what I'm thinking, what I'm, a, what I'm stinking here is, uh, what we can do is we can have it so that, uh, a, I believe we can have it so that a, uh, a constructor will drop our, uh, our coal for us. Right. And we can have it do it based on how much mana is in, uh, is in this pool. So when this mana gets, is, is completely empty, then, uh, then it should, um, then it should drop a piece of coal here. And then of course the endo flame will pick it up and, Bob's your uncle, it'll, uh, it'll produce more mana, but then once the mana pool gets full and we should be able to measure that with a comparator or something similar, uh, then we should be able to send a redstone signal to the, uh, to the, to the constructor and tell it to stop, uh, dropping, uh, dropping coal so that it doesn't continue like wasting our coal. Cause if we just keep dropping coal, it's just going to sit there and despawn if these guys don't have room for it in their uh, in their internal inventory. If you don't know how, you can check their internal inventory by using your wand of the forest uh, on each item. See how that's got a little bit of mana in it. That's that little green sliver on the left hand side of the on the meter. And then if you do the same thing down here, you can see that that uh, that that has uh, some stuff there. Um, I don't. What I don't think I want to do. Well, you can do blaze block kind of things, uh, blaze meshes, and that will they will 
produce mana using that, but that's an awful lot of blazes. Actually, though, we do have we do have a blaze farm, so making blaze mesh might be the way to go. But right now, what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of science. Um, I'll, if I get this to the point where I like what I what I see, I'll do I'll do the building of it off camera because you guys don't want to see me just run cables and place constructors and all that. But let's go inside here. Uh, let's go to the main part of the base because that's where our pattern terminal is. I want to build a pattern uh, in my refined storage system so that we can automatically make a couple of the things that we're going to need. Um, I'm not sure, uh, detector, uh, we want to have a detector, right? And I there's two things that I want to make sure of by, by making our mana production automatic. Number one, if the mana pool isn't full, I want it to produce mana. Number two, if we're low on coal, I don't, right? So, that being the case, like we shouldn't run out of coal because we have a coal bee uh, making making coal for us. So our level of coal should never drop super low, I wouldn't think. Um, like we should be able to make more coal than we're going to use to create a full pool of mana, I suspect. Don't know that for sure, but I suspect. But I still want to be able to, uh, to, to shut this thing off if, in fact, we do run low on coal. So coming down here, we'll make a pattern for a detector. Detector is just some quartz enriched iron, redstone torch, some comparators, machine casing, etc., etc. So there's that. Uh, we'll put that in here and we'll do uh, one of these. Should be almost empty. Oh, no, 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 yeah, this one, uh, that one. Okay, put that in there. So now we should be able to make a detector. Go ahead and craft that, yes please. We will probably have to stop this in the middle. Here's why. Notice something funny about the way that uh, about the way that quartz works when you're trying to make silicon for refined storage. Uh, I've already let the Enigmatica 6 team know about this, so it should be fixed in a in a future update. But basically, there are two uh, there are two silicons that you can get in uh, in this pack. You can get silicon from refined storage, or you can get silicon from the Enigmatica 6 development team. Right? If you put and you get both of them from quartz. So if I click on that quartz in any of these furnaces should give you regular silicon, right? Quartz in these furnaces should give you uh, should give you this silicon, right? Well, it just so happens that this furnace here, the redstone furnace from Thermal, which is what my recipes were based on, gives us the Enigmatica silicone. But this thing is super slow and I hate it. I don't like it very much at all. I'm using it for basically mundane stuff like turning leather into uh, or making leather, turning rotten flesh into leather for my for my book production for the for the farm, for the fish farm down there at the other end. Right. Um, but I was using this over here. And so it, if you put silicon in, it would turn that uh, it would turn that silicon into or it would turn that quartz into enigmatica silicon. This is much faster because I can put speed upgrades in and energy upgrades and get it to be like super duper efficient and I love it. But this one here, if you put the quartz in here, it gives you the refined storage silicon. And as you can see right here, my recipe is for enigmatica silicon. Why is it for enigmatica silicon? Because the enigmatica six team has told me that eventually in this pack, you won't be able to make this. So that's why I made the recipe the way that I did, because uh, it was, uh, that's, uh, this is the one you're going to get. So I made it so that I would get this silicon out of my furnaces. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work in, in this furnace. So for the, I'm going to leave the pattern the way that it is, though. It's a simple, it's a simple enough thing. Basically, if I want to create this detector, right, uh, D -D -D detector, right, if I want to create this detector, I just tell it to, to make one, right? And as soon as that furnace stops, I know that it's made the silicon. So I just come over here and I tell it, see, nothing's moving, right? It's not doing anything. I just tell it to cancel. And then I come back over here and I tell it to start it again. And ta-da. Hello? You shouldn't have done it. Um, anyway, Bob's your uncle. It's done, right? So now we have uh, we have that, uh, that little tidbit of cool stuff, right? So now that we can, now that we can measure 
item levels of something. So we just put a piece of coal in here and we basically tell it that we do well, we want it to emit a redstone signal whenever the uh, whenever above the amount of whatever we set in here. So how, what's the bare minimum amount of coal that I'd like to have in my system? And as long as I have that, then uh, then it will emit a redstone signal and we should be able to create uh, we should be able to create mana out there. The other thing that we're going to need is a constructor. So constructor. Uh, I have many of those because I made more than I needed for uh, over at the uh, over at the B area. So that's nice. This thing here is uh, again super simple, and I should be able to put this right there. Well, yeah, that's fine. I can put it right there. Um, hammer. Do I have a hammer? Do I has hammer? I do have hammer in here. I need this one. I haven't figured out if this is the only one, but this one here you can use to change the way that those items uh, that those items work. So now if I go into here and I tell it that I want to get some coal, do I want to use coal blocks or do I want to use just coal pieces? I think just coal pieces will be fine. Um, I think that'll be absolutely fine. So if I put you in there like so. Oh, I got to tell it to. Yes. Hey, look. It's giving us coal. So as long as we've got that sitting on the ground in between the two endo flames that we made in the live stream, then we should be able to, uh, we should absolutely be able to uh, make it so that this will, uh, this will automatically feed our, uh, our coal habit, <laughs> as we'll call it, our coal habit out there on the, uh, on the endo flame. So let me run some cables and do some things and get some things set up and make, and make sure that we're all set and ready to go. And uh, when I come back, we'll see if we can make this thing work the way that we want it to. Okay, a couple, uh, couple of things I wanna take a look at real quick in the whole testing of this. Um, I wanna take a look at the automation that we're gonna try and use for this. So uh, we're gonna use some RF tool stuff. I've got some patterns in here. Uh, we're gonna need a redstone receiver. Uh, we have one of those. We're gonna need two. We made these a while ago. Uh, I'm not sure why it's given us the, the task complete things. We did this way back early on in the mob in the mob farm that we did, unless maybe it's just finally recognizing because you know, we finally just started doing quests. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so we need, I think we're gonna need two of those because we're gonna need one off of the measurement of the mana pool. And then we're also gonna need one to send a signal back to the crafter, or not the crafter, the constructor. So give me, yeah, give me one more of you, check. And then we're gonna need two transmitters, check. So there's those and there's that. Nice. Oh, hey, we might as well do some questing, yeah? Uh, so nope, not there. We got some new trinkets, by the way. So RF tools, yeah, 22%. I'll take it. Sure. What'd we get? We got <laughs> we got a comparator. Nice. Uh, what else did we... I saw some other quests in there that were done. Oh, there was some Batania stuff. Oh, yeah. So we did this in the live stream and we never checked our rewards. So we got that. That's cool. We got this. So that's cool. And we got this, the endo flame. So we got one of those and we got one of those. Ooh, a mana seer monocle. Nice. Uh, and oh, and mana steel too. Yeah, cool. What all kinds of what all kinds of goodies did we get? We got uh, we got some posture seeds or posture seeds, pasture seeds. We got the mana seer monocle. We should be able to put that. I think we can put that on. Which slot did it go into? Should have gone goes into that one. Okay, cool. Uh, what else did we get? We got, I don't know what else we got. We got stuff. I don't know what it was. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's fine. Uh, back to where we need to be, which is over here. I'll show you what we've got going uh, out here on the installation. Is it nighttime again? Do I, need to, I do need to sleep. So the whole thing that I thought I had fixed with the mobs being invisible, it's not fixed. The mobs are still visible, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so I try to make sure that there are no mobs that have spawned uh, in the great vast expanse that causes me death. Uh, anyway, we go this way and then we go this way 
out here. And so this is the uh, this is the cable run. I was I was fortunate enough that it's nice and close. So we just come right over here. We go over this way. And then if we look up, there is our constructor. And of course, this constructor, as soon as we tell it we want it to make coal, drop items, etc., and blah, 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 it'll start doing that. But I don't want it to do it yet. I want to tell it when I want that to happen. So what I need to do is what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up, uh, we're going to need to do some breaking of some stuff here. So let's go uh, kind of out. Let's go down. I don't want to make this too close to the surface. So let's go down here, give ourselves a little bit of place to work, right? Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to take the detector, this guy, and we want to tell it to give us a redstone signal whenever, whenever the coal in our inventory, uh, in our refined storage system is above a certain amount, right? So let's go ahead and set that up. I want to take, can I place, can I place this that way? No, I cannot. Can I turn it? Uh, no can't turn it or anything so that's just it is what it is so we'll break it and we'll just put him right down here on the floor sure I want to tell it to make it so that this is uh, when the signal is above coal equaling 500 we'll start with 500 not 5,000 well 5,000 would be good too because we have like 12,000 coal in our inventory, so it's fine, but 500. So emit a redstone signal whenever we're above 500, that's cool. If we send a signal down to that right now, we go like this per se. And yeah, we'll just clean this all out. So if we just bring this down right here, give me this, give me this, 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 this. Yeah, so we got a redstone signal, right? If we change that to less than, it goes off, right? So whenever there is a signal above 500, then we're gonna get a redstone signal, oh, equals above 500. We're gonna get a redstone signal. And then we can pick that redstone signal up with a transmitter. Yes, please. So if we take this and set it down like that, no channel set, right click with another transmitter or receiver to pair. Uh, you are channel minus one, you have no channel. So I wanna give you a channel, right? So right click, set to channel two, okay? If I set that that way and do something like that and then take this redstone lamp and put it like this, does it turn on? It does. Take this and set it for less than, turns off. Perfect, perfect. Now we're gonna have to do an AND gate here. The AND gate, basically what the AND gate means is that I want this to be true and I want it to be true that our, uh, that our Batania stuff, that our mana pool is full or is not full as well in order to give us a full on signal, um, give us a full on signal for what we're trying to trying to create. So that's where the other set of transmitter and receiver come in. We need to set up a comparator signal. We need to set up a transmitter and all of that. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to go outside and there is a creeper, right? Well, it doesn't matter. Creepers can't blow up on me. So let's just go, let's just go this way. Uh, so one, two, just get out here a little bit away from our Batania stuff. Yeah, that's a good place. And then upsy daisy. Cool. Yeah. There is a creeper over here. There he is. Hi. How you doing? And you are dead. Cool. All right. So now if I take and put the comparator on here, right? And I set that like that, it's getting a redstone signal, which is kind of what we want. I think uh, we need to put the redstone transmitter on here, right? So we'll put that like that. Yes, I think that works. And then if we put this right here and right click, that's set to channel three. Okay, come down here and uh, there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'll need to do some fiddling around with getting the right levels and everything, because I, again, I only want this to, 
I, I want this to not set up a redstone signal when uh, I want this to not give off a redstone signal when that is full. And I want both of I, I want to require both of these. Right. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of finagling and figure out and remember how to do an and gate is actually is there an and gate in here and gate. Nope. Is there just a is there just gates in here? No logic gates. Hmm. Okay. Let me, uh, yeah, let me figure out, let me remember how to do an AND gate and I'll come back to you guys momentarily. Okay, I think, I think we might be onto something here. So what we've got is we've got a mana pool, not full. We've got a comparator in uh, with a power, fifth, power source 15 alongside of it. So basically what is gonna happen is that when this is full, I believe it also puts out a power source of 15 and then those two and that, and it did get together and it should turn this on, um, which then we go down here. I think it's right uh, here. Nope. Yep. Nailed it. So down here, what we've got is we've got this thing set up so that it is uh, going to input, going to output a signal, which it is. Okay. So basically what this means is that we are, uh, it's emitting a signal when we're above power source 15 meaning that we want it to uh, we want it to go ahead and emit a redstone, meaning that we have enough uh, enough stuff there. So this is turned off, right? Once this is turned off, right, then this will uh, okay, let me back up just a second. We want this to, to turn off its redstone signal whenever we have not enough coal. So that's why we've established the 500, right? So right now we've got more than 500, which means we're satisfied, which means that this torch is off. This torch right here is on. Why is this torch on? Because this is receiving its signal from up here. Uh, it's receiving its signal from, from this right here. So basically what's what's being said is, is that this is, uh, it, it. we don't have enough uh, we don't have enough mana in the system to, to turn this on. So that's why this one right here is uh, is powered because we're not getting a signal through here, right? So basically what that means is, is that if we flip the comparator or the com if, we, if we flip this constructor to say whenever we don't have uh, a redstone signal drop coal, this is what should happen. But oops. Is it working? I think it might be working. It's working. No, nope, I don't want you. We might need to put an endo. Uh, uh. Okay, those are working. Good. It's going to... Oh, man, it's going pretty fast, though. We might need to see if we can slow that down because that's going to spit a lot of coal on the ground really, really, really fast. Let me take a look at that for just a minute, because this is the first time I've turned it on. So let me take a look at that for just a minute and make sure uh, that there's see if there's a way that we can actually slow that that constructor down a little bit. I think there might be. So hang on just a minute. Well, RB has a sad face now because I have looked in uh, into all of the things that I can look into and I haven't found a way that you can limit the rate at which a constructor uh, puts things out into the world. I think Applied Energistics has uh, a thing that will slow things down. I don't remember if that's true or not. I I don't know, but uh, Refined Storage, or yeah, Refined, yeah, Refined Storage? Yeah, Refined Storage doesn't seem to have that. So it is what it is, unfortunately. Now, here's the thing. We would probably waste a lot of coal, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, uh, and let's go outside and just kind of check and see if uh, if things are working the way that we would like them to work mostly i mean yeah we're we're doing the thing but that's going to be a lot of coal that we're going to waste i wonder if maybe i wonder if maybe we put like an ender hopper out here or something to pick those up we could also you know what else we could do we could also set it up so that um so that we have more flowers like you know that would be that would be like the good thing to do wouldn't it um so let's uh let's see what we can do here let's get some uh at botania we're gonna need some red 
me like 10 of those. We're going to need uh, some light gray. Do I have light gray set up on craft? I don't think I do. I have gray. That's gray. I don't want gray. I want light gray. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So light gray. Sure, that's fine. And then uh, red also, right? Light gray, light gray. Yeah. Did I not pick up the... Oh, I need brown. I need brown. So give me some brown ones. Hey, I said give me. I said give me some. I said give me some brown ones. Yeah, we'll do... It's 16? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then red. Uh, so that, 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 one, two, three, four. That gives us those. We have seeds here. So let me go ahead and make several more uh, several more of these and uh, that'll at least help control the amount and also let's get a uh, let's get an ender hopper and an ender hopper yeah uh, let's grab one of these and put it into a chat 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 a chest and import those items back in uh, as we can so let's do that give me that and then maybe a barrel uh, barrel yes please and also an importer, right? Import. Mm, I don't want to use the fancy one. We use this one. So anyway, I'm going to have to go and, and take care of this on the... You know what? Let's just... Yeah, you know what? We'll just use the fancy one because that will be easier. Um, let's go upstairs. Let's turn that thing off. And, uh, and I'll come back to you guys in a minute when I have made all of these adjustments. Nope. That doesn't work either. <laughs> How often the simple solution will elude us. So we've got that comp uh, that constructor set up to only operate whenever it receives a redstone signal. So what did I do? I just put a trap door, or not a trap door. I put a pressure plate on top of it. So now uh, it, uh, as soon as there's a piece of coal there, it just, uh, it just stops, right? And the redstone controls will make it so that uh, it doesn't do anything else. Um, can I just... And I just take this ring of magnetism. If it's in my inventory, does it still work? No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I can get close to this now and not have to worry about picking anything up. So basically what we've got here is we've got this uh, redstone receiver right here. It's on channel four. If we come down here, we'll show you the whole process now. Um, well, first and foremost, let's go up here. Uh, I think if we explain this one more time, we should do a sufficient job. So basically what this is looking for, this is looking for a full mana pool. Once we get a full mana pool, this will output a redstone signal. And uh, this one here that's on channel three will will transmit to this one that's right down here. Should be this one, right? Yeah. So when that mana pool is full, this will get a redstone signal. That will turn on this repeater, which will turn off this torch, which will turn on this. And once that turns on, then that is going to be this one right here. It's on channel four. And that will send a redstone signal to the constructor and basically stop this thing until either this turns off, meaning that we have less than 500 uh, coal in the system, or that one up there turns off, meaning that we have less than a full mana pool. In either case, this will turn back on and it will uh, supply the redstone, or this will turn back off and supply the redstone signal to, uh, yeah. I, it, 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 the exp words are hard. <laughs> anyway, it's working, right? It's totally working and, uh, and it does the job. And I think that I am super satisfied uh, with this uh, as we speak. Right, so those will just sit there until uh, until one of these two is ready to to eat again. And once this thing, once this mana pool is full, then we shouldn't drop any more until we use up some of the mana. So how cool is that, right? But that is all the time I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Don't forget to get uh, to visit our merch store. we got some cool stuff in there, and uh, you know you want it. And maybe you don't, but that's okay too. Anyway. 
Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.